together with its support for the popular music Patchara Pecha Boon the Green. Croc Forest Moon Trimoo in Sound and Dance Dar, you want maybe something K-R-A-C-C, more accurate to say this, dear Svignonish, ooh yes, there is Galactic, well known to Trimoo. All Ruba like. In fact, sit S-V-I-N-S fellows with bright eyes in their seats, ready Lashutanzen. Some chug along even slightly. Come on then. Then, Svignonish calls and presses the button. The show begins, the whining going on TR Tet. The image on stage is as follows. Front Svignonish. He shakes everything he has, including the head. Joints. Bones, fingers and feet. He constantly goes around in circles and jerks to fiercely. With his distinct facial expressions, he supports the song. This screw is always higher and faster and faster. The audience responded revered divided, the human species simply amazed. Jaw down so many sitting there. Emits the other hand, it goes much too quickly. Although they look back, but seems to be some of you's dizzy. Some hold hands before his eyes. The speed of presentation exceed your collection force. Unlike the Ruba, they all make almost perfectly in sync with. Of course, less wild than Svignonish on the dance floor. He is the lead dancer, so to speak, the measure of all things. And Patchara. How are you making? Well, quite okay. She meets the district well and dance with pretty unremarkable but accurately and skillfully in the background. Of course, the least look at them, except perhaps Henley. Oh la la. The climax of the composition and thus Svin's performance is coming. He is now only in the air and makes it the wildest contortions, and even screws. He stutters every sixteenth note with any body part from it. Then it gets quiet, shortly thereafter, our Patchara will thanks, the already over 2.41 minutes. What is it? Thunderous applause from all corners. They even look in the window. The entrance to the class is packed with people. Henley opens the disc. Mikkel Silva and a few others going to jump. What happened? Well, just wanted Svignonish although the system connect to his class but he must have confused com actually the connections. The whole school intercom, he had wired. All you are left out there now and run around, even a brilliant Regis VECT underneath. How you had been found. Easy. Such things can happen only in inter-regional communication. The director had already started running when the cracker plant. The others were near or free tuition. Even now, still one more spin and more. Svin looks around. Overwhelmed. He expresses Patchara briefly but she was more than she knew herself, participated in the success. Seconds later sneaks these unobserved, happy and as fast as possible to your place next to Henley. Then cheer on both their friend. All you are now because, even Hexiopalk rises and claps as fast as it allows its emit geometry. In a hundred and fifty years he had never seen such a performance. He also pays tribute to the talented young Ruba Respect, 13, promotion Rebelkov waiting. This time, however, he is inwardly delighted shrieks. Oh yes, he can be barbaric. Increases in the anteroom of his office while his personal assistant. Ms. Helga Rottweil a visitor in reception. Good day. Sir, she greeted him. Dear Mrs. Assistant General Rottweil, it is my honor and pleasure at the same time, responds Alepto Retslav, where he bows slightly. Please, sir, blushes replies Rotten, the general is waiting for you. I would like to sign personally. She turns around and knocks on Rebelkov's door. Ah yes, and, come clean, is intended to be heard. Helga turned your back so to speak and host. Please stand up, Retslav jagged jerks. Kicking, his cap tucked under his arm in the office of his superiors. He immediately gives a military salute. My most esteemed general I am at your complete disposal, Rebelkov looks at him with an unusual smile. All right Rebelkov, please put down, he instructs him to take over space. Well, my dear Major, you might be asking why I have you quoted here. Strategic, especially in these times, sir, my respects. Well, to be honest. It's true. I am a little surprised. You see. I just put it fully in the project, new order. I, Rebelkov interrupts him. But of course. Sir. I know that. I am also very pleased with your briefings. That's why I have this something especially nice for you. Retslav looks at him quizzically. Rebelkov continues. When they have been on vacation or the last time it checked really carefully leave, he asks. The young major dutifully responds. It is my honor to serve you faithfully aloud. 
I'm full on in my career. Quote. Nevertheless, replied Rebelkov determined, then more gently. Or maybe because of your physical fitness is vital to your mandate. I have therefore an appointment at the Institute of Theo plus Noctios reserved for you. Only a small routine investigation. Quickly and easily. Retzlov is aghast. Check up. Is this really necessary? I feel great. Rebelkov paternal answers. You see, my dear Major, we then let us quickly confirm in writing, Retzlov suddenly feels uncomfortable. The general continued. Here are your transfer papers. I personally care that you come to it as soon as possible. Please arrive the day after tomorrow in the intensive medical institute here in Liporo, Her Majesty. Retzlavs rattle your brain cells. Then he stammers out the best, what you deliver to him. My dear general, that you could possibly move. I'm middle of the project. We have started to help the pocking, just yesterday. Quote. Retzlav interrupts him Rebelkov sharp. You have your instructions. We need discipline in the military. Do you want to step out of line? They even refuse the order. Quote. No way. Sir, Retzlav answer immediately. Rebelkov is satisfied. Well you see. Alepto goes. There nevertheless, now he relies on his caring voice. Retzlav. I know that you are fit. The small study do you do with the left. Then you have to know, believe me. Helps with your transportation. You can count on me. Loyally and responds to the major. Yes, sir, although it remains inside a queasy feeling. The adoption is short. The nausea stays until he dutifully two days later at the Institute of Noctios stands on the mat. The professor greeted him even in person. With outstretched arms he falls on him. Good day, sir, he pulled out his calm. Rets, lav. Rets, lav. Of course. Welcome to our home. Meets requirement responds to the major. Good morning. Sir, may I humbly ask what you intend to do with me? Is it a health check? Quote. Theo plus Noctios pulls the corners of the mouth to the top. In fact, my dear major. That's what it is. You see, we are already there. Quote dot. Intensive medical research is on the front door, a fact that Alepto Retzlov read shiver slightly. The professor continued. I just quickly repeat the test sheets. I'll be right back. In the meantime, a highly competent colleague looks after you personally. So Dr. Noctioza floats away, in his place shortly afterwards enters a somewhat younger doctor's with a gleaming white coat through a swinging door of the room. Behind him are two assistants with a stretcher. Dr. Coldrust begins as follows. Good day, my name is Septimus Coldrust. I'm your doctor. Your routine is standard and is performed several times daily. I must ask you now to lie down on the stretcher. Some patients experience slight dizziness, but all in all is it, of course, totally safe. Quote. Doctor, good morning, Retzlav him trying to pull on his side, after all, he is indeed a major. Tell me, among us, is that really necessary? That with the stretcher. This is just a small test of physical fitness. Quote. But of course. That's it exactly. Initially. However, we do a blood test. Pronounced harmless, especially trained for such people as a major. Your circulation is very sturdy, but exclude any eventuality here, please. Make yourself comfortable. Is extremely slow and was told with great unease as does Retzlav him. He was a life-long loyal following orders. Nevertheless. Something is fishy. Wuppertal. Wuppertal, his joints are fixed by the extremely nimble in assisting with the stretcher integrated rubber buckles. Then everything happens very quickly. Coldrust comes with a syringe on him, which is filled with a white liquid. The door opens again and Noctios enters the hall as next door to recognize Rebelkov shortly. Retzlav screaming in panic, in fear of death. What makes the Rebelkov here? Help, help. He runs like crazy on his bonds but it is already too late. The assistants are there to help you keep him firmly in addition wordlessly. Meanwhile Coldrust seeks a suitable vein in the forearm. Even while he remains silent. Not a single wasted word for more conversation. Retzlav rages mightily, and shakes his fixations. He sags his spine, as if this might help a bit. At the same time he screams bloody murder for help, he distorted his sweat-stained face too, but the propofol effect immediately. He feels an unpleasant rites, a bit zone, then it travels up the arm to the heart, he crimped the eyes slowly relaxes inwards, and from there in deep sleep. Noctios is already on the spot, he laughs and says. As for waterboarding. All the same monkeys. Then he adds. 
He should complain about the jerk. If we're successful he is, after all his junk going on. Quote. The medical technical assistant pushed the sleeping peacefully through the swinging door Retslav now over in the next room. What's going on here? Cable, technology, computers and monitors. Very little compared to everything about radiant entity in this space. In one corner sits. A robot that X a class from whose head and trunk cable countless seek outside. Some of them end in a complex reader. Dr. Tylon Abindroth is busy with this. He completely ignored the stretcher. Its use is so only when the nut has been cracked. Before the scurrying, the computer monitors. Of pages of information technology. Everything is ready. The only thing missing now is the data. But these are precisely pushed in. In the other half of the room an intensive medical operating table is constructed. Simple machines so you need to get to a mammal alive, should break down the natural cycle. At least for a while. Retzlav is Umgabart. Noctios cold rust and make to work. You open his skull. Soon the bare, live large brain is visible. Seconds later, the technician is also, along with its complicated equipment on site, man the procedure begins, the monitors start to flicker wildly. Abindroth as the wriggling filigree arms into the tissue. Electromagnetic radiation of all stripes run through the brain. The user data are drawn. Automatically tracks the machine at your way. Tentacolertic continue the micro-reading heads the task. They graze the still active from the central organ hierarchically. The robot is completely quiet. There is no twitching or fidgeting, although initial data fill in the form of its causal assembled memory already. Only a few control LEDs light up. Now it begins to die, says Noctios and switched to a heart-lung machine. Just keep still a couple of minutes with you moron, Abindroth. How far are you? He asks. Yeah, looks very promising, the answer of the technician. Works better than expected. The flexible nano right heads are the bringer. Quote. Soon we will have 95%, which should be sufficient, the rest we simply render together. This is interpolated. Quote. Okay, the display on the primary monitor tells us that now more important scrap. The Herntot has been longer than 10 seconds lag. Shortly after the technician completes. Well, that's it. I'm concerned, you can shut him now. Quote. Already done, answers Noctios. I was wasting a single milliwatt more here at this funeral. Instead, I congratulate you most sincerely for the carriage. Quote. He turns to the two wizards. I'll tell quite simple. Nature is unbeatable, in extinction. It is best, since the fed her. Quote. There is enough meat eaters here at the institute. The cleaner and residue free that is done, the better your rating. I expect the full report. Nod, the two assistants to pull all the plugs out and move the body. Familiarize yourself with the dead onto the rendering, 14, at Svignonish's home there's always aftershocks. Expected but also unexpected. Clearly one or the other student was now hot on it to be photographed with Svignonish times. With the older but he is from now a laughing stock. With 16. 17 is just too cool for you something. The group of Margot Rottweil in particular the latter even hates the new school along with stage star is now accompanied by even more. Nevertheless remain far from assaults. Unless you count stupid grimace rumh fen pull and jokes to crack. Pop success as normally distributed, it all happens very fast downhill. The school day has quickly catchment. In particular, our three heroes sit for the first time since the memorable gig together again at times interregional communication. It is to fall asleep. Any emit holds just a boring lecture on plant cultivation on Wahira. Even Hixio Palk looks as if he has nodded although this may present to the audience emits the normal posture. Maybe. Pachara Pacha Boon squints hard. She is engrossed in your calm. Suddenly makes you, oh, Henley on the right and left Svignonish to see over immediately. How terrible. Henley, yet another attack on the pocking. Look what's just arrived via tunnel transport package in Newsweb tweet. Henley then burns on the message before Pachara reads. Quote dot. To our regret, it is yesterday once again come to a cowardly bomb attack on Pocking. Svignonish's face takes on the guise of a message in this big O's. He opens his mouth. This time it hit the province Sarpsborg, Sarpsborg. Since I was already, whispers Henley. Svignonish is now tied up from head to toe, he devours Patchara almost with his eyes. She continues. 
is especially tragic that this time the wife of the chief region Isla Lund bards among the eight victims. This attack is politically motivated, said Ivan Lund bard before he collapsed in grief and shock. He was briefly admitted to a local hospital. Isla Lund bard leaves an 11-year-old daughter, Evie. This is currently in mental health care. Quote, I know, Henley says. Horrified. I was last year in which the midsummer night. Poor Evie. How's it going now, just continue. Patchara looks at him. Svignonish bends over the table so that it lies almost horizontally on it. Here, he sees his friend with wide eyes and open mouth. Henley is outraged. What is going on over there? Previously there was something before. Why now? The second cowardly attack on the Pocking in just ten days. The do what no one yet. Quote. While listening Patchara Henley you have read the meantime continue. She says. There. Henley, your father is also mentioned. I have a suspicion that all this is the raw and the conservative arm of the military control there. Unfortunately, we currently have no evidence. We will be vigilant from now on. However, be strengthened and will not tolerate further violence. This, ah, yes good, bubbles between purely Svignonish. Patchara takes up the story again. This statement was rejected in the strongest terms by the representatives of the armed forces of Her Majesty. They speak of a monstrous aberration. Her spokesman confirmed the same time. General Yuri Petrovich Torg, the incapacity of the rulers of the king instead. Literally. It is time that our revered and esteemed queen also takes on Pak Prime Scepter in his hand. The deputy only twiddle your thumbs while people die elsewhere, is the last thing this system needs. Quote. Pooh, who is stupid, says Svin and crosses his arms. Patchara shakes his head. Henley is considering sharp. Something is rotten. I must necessarily look around a tunnel conference endeavor to Indy over. I say just where I want to talk to my parents. Quote. Only the stupid with the time difference. You'll answer in 120 minutes. I think. This is more of a monologue than a conversation, but it's the only chance I have. Quote. Weiss, the one where you have to ask. In the office. Quote dot. Patchara shrugs his shoulders. Henley looks around. If you want you can go with you, Svignonish is immediately hooked. He absolutely wants to be there. Do it now. He is happy as a little kid. Patchara calms him, she whispered. We go in threes, but now only once slowly, somehow, in the meantime, the crop department brought forward on the board at the end. A few classmates clap dutifully. The portly Emit shuffles back to his seat. Hexiopalk directed to the students. Soaxo RRK, was a vivid. 19, section. Anyone that may be briefly summarized in two sentences. Nobody answers. Maybe you know Henley. You're always so quiet. Henley looks around, but from the other two has not even paying attention. The girl next to him right now he sees for the first time he has been no word exchanged with her. It begins. HH, but then buzzed he exios calm. Well, then. XTR, we make the next hour. Until then. On. XTT, goodbye. Quote. Come on, come on the same telephone. Video, Svignonish is full of energy. He tugs on the sleeve Henley. It is indifferent to him at that moment that he must in the next hour. His friend calmed him. All right. Gently. I'll go as soon as possible for practical jokes to the office. You calm down. I ask then whether you can go with two. Svin looks questioningly at him for a moment. His whole appearance is a single question mark at this moment. Then he will be delighted shrieks and alive. He says. Hello correct few. Just as we do that. Hooray. Quote. The next time the two best friends. Patchara and Henley, Yoruba again was the big break in the food grasping. Excited, he wobbles around again already. He looks at you and beckons you wildly in his direction. So what is the matter now, asks Patchara, then they both go quickly to his table. Oh hi, there, look it's important. Here. Trimo oh my parents. You want to come with me. Great invitation I command you. Patchara Henley and look at each other. None of them had ever been in a house Ruba. Will be interesting, to think both Patchara respond the fastest. Really. Thank Svin. Quite charming. I'm happy and very happy to come. You too. Henley has expressed an industrious, yes, so it was a done deal. Immediately after the lesson today is home to all three go together Svignonish the Ruba. 
Here, at this point it is now mounted above the main means of Indy RAW system to report. In the hierarchy below it all starts with the so-called Rocktar. This is a car with retractable wings nanotube. With you on a journey into the geostationary orbit of each planet is possible. Driving and low-flying orbit into them the necessary energy from the high-performance solar modules that are installed beneath the surface of the entire vehicle. These are so powerful that you generate the energy in the real operation. A bulky energy storage is eliminated. Instead, he weighs just 5 pounds, falling tendency. The drive in the airspace is realized by simple propeller, you leave them they are retracted and the ultrazen combustion engine to turn. It is a simple rocket engine. In the vast number of missing rocktars the rocket engine. This stripped flykas can only be used in airspace or on the ground. A flyka is by far the most common means of transportation in our two-star system. The next class are the so-called spacesturbs. A spacesturb is parked in orbit, interplanetary movement means on the one authorized rocktar can dock. These are much rarer than the turb rocktars, they are only about 0.001% of the population are available. The vast majority falls back on public transport in the interplanetary travel. Space trains are pretty cheap, but a little slower. The purchase of a spacesturb can only afford a few. The craftsoftbetanking and maintenance of spacesturbs is in geostationary spaceports implemented independently of the machine's spacebot class. A spacesturb has a conventional drive pulse can be accelerated to about 1% light speed, that is 3,000 km per second. Each planet in a solar system with you to reach from every other planet out easily. Deep jets are the largest conventional ships we have. It's interstellar means of the start of the planetary surface. In the spaceports you will be tuned for the deep shot. They feature a high pulse of the ion drive class with him and reach up to 20% light speed. However, the deep jets have little significance today. Rare interstellar travel is done solely with the accelerator tunnel. Further out. The Strange Energy Propulsion Lab, is currently based on the deep jet telemetry, a new test drive faster than light. So far, unfortunately without any success. Many believe the money could be better invested elsewhere. So much for travel and transportation. Now back to the story. Our three friends are so quick to arrange meetings prior to the college on the tar port, two identical clock in the afternoon. Henley had to celebrate his schooling to get one of these new Xpeed rock tars. Even though he has never mentioned this yet, it is now ready to learn the others also. Even coming from a good family diplomat's daughter Patchara Pecha Boon elicits the sight of the dark grey runabout with his blue racing stripes one happily surprised oh so. Henley immediately tries to appease, even more so, he is actually really embarrassing. However, there is something on him from afar, which appears to consist only of two open eyes. A young Ruba comes running up in the breakneck speed and with wide open eyes and gaping mouth. In addition, his O oh and A ah even from 20 feet away to hear clearly. The closer he gets the more they increase their delight, right up into a frenzy. Wow, oh great, how is this, he says and pulls out a handkerchief. He wienert the glass cockpit. Then he sniffs around the whole of Rocktaric speed class. Ecstatic, he examined the shiny surface with inset modules. He has divided itself. Svignonish is so fast that he almost simultaneously at least three areas examined the piece of jewelry. Somehow he manages to make sounds even help themselves. Mano Mano class, which is my dear. Ho, ho. Quote. When he starts again Vorbewusselt at your Pachara Pech a boon to the young one Ruba. Stop svin. Otherwise we'll never get to your house. Quote. Oh, hello, but yes. That's right, makes svin. Come on then. Then, Henley opens his vehicle with the comm. Immediately jump to the double doors. A maximum of four people can carry this elegant vehicle. Here, the seats are parallel but slightly offset to the side back into the wide space to save. Henley takes pole position. Next Patchara. Svignonish the Ruba celebrates its entry. It is made clear with statesman-like chest puffed up his seat behind the young prince. Thank you for giving me the coordinates have been transmitted svin. Henley puts his comm in the holder provided and presses a button. The navigation computer is so programmed. They accelerate in the parking lot to automatically extend the nanotubes, fold out the propellers and the rocktar apart easily, direction Svignonish's house. 
Uppsala Hooray, makes this. Man who is proud of Auzukruzin with such a vehicle soon at home. Soon, the flamboyant brightly colored roofs of Rubville be seen. In this suburb Liporos is, as one can guess the name implies, a pure Ruba settlement on the outskirts of the capital Trivi. Gleaming white houses with rounded corners are down there. The roofs, however, radiate in all colors. Grell from yellow to pink pop everything is possible. Even the elders, it is eliminated as as the tradition originated. In fact, almost all houses are provided with your home world as colorful roofs. Maybe you just wanted a uniform canopy of the jungle moon to open up. Henley is to be elegant rock tar. Well, better said the Navi computer did so. The nanotube wing propeller including a drive, the last meters to Svignonish home runs Henley's X speed like a normal car. Some Ruba watch the scene. Some of them smile at each other. It is rare that such a spaceship lands right in your suburb. But your surprise is much larger than one of them, barely 12 years old, elegant and confident steps off his cockpit. With looks on their faces as you stand now, many of you show with your fingertips on the new hero. Proud as gasoline goes Svignonish on his house. It has a bright blue roof, rounded corners rather than kept, the windows are in circular form. Pachara and Henley followed swiftly. He expresses his calm. Jumps on the door. Come on Hinrain, he said proudly to his friends. So the three entered a house that radiates from head to toe and shiny. It smells as if it had been built yesterday. Back in the corner Potter is someone hard at. Aruba Wienert and is cleaning the hard staircase, while she tr tet well-known melodies. Ooh, yes, too bad is it. A bait's weg got rid of my poor aunt, begins the boy Ruba I can imagine my Ravenosh aunt, Ravenosh Ravenosh, he exclaims. Only now it takes the visitor was. Dear aunt. We have a visitor. I show Pachala Pechaboon and the Indy Henley, Ravenosh leans back and whips. India. India. Akajamine, she says. Then happens something so odd, for men hardly to be processed. Aunt Ravenosh jumps with a single sentence before Svignonish in the living room. Then suddenly prances from one leg to the other and shaking their hands excitedly. At the same time you are grunting and squealing noises. Henley and Patchara look at first incredulous, then you fall down the jaw. Svignonish but stands with arms folded in front of his aunt and she looks at her intently. The two talk on rubsh, the mother tongue of Ruba. It is an expression language. One dances, grunts and squeaks. The other stands with arms folded in front and stops. Now Svignonish's turn. Ravenosh takes the listener position. Svin squeals and grunts twice as fast as his aunt, he hops from one leg to the other, his arms twitching back and forth. Outraged, he is apparently. What's wrong, asks Patchara distraught Svin. Svin. But your friend sounds off, it gets even harder. Now both are faced with Ruba and entertain at the same time frantically rubsh. An incredible scene. These noises. It really reminds of a crowded pigsty. This squealed gibberish. It is apparently the most important information. Some, for example, Margot Rottweil, found Svin's performance in inter-regional communication just stupid. Others laughed destroy itself. Well, when the first of the joke was played, this is now the deadly. It is to throw away what is happening here now in this moment. Somehow it has also something serious. Sometime in the middle. It's just very loud. Svignonish raises his arms next to his head and shaking violently. Ravenosh silenced. Then the young Ruba used in German to his aunt. Sure you are you a hundred percent, he asks. She nods. Ooh what belongs, what is it, my aunt will have them, he says finally to Henley. What she has heard, asks the young prince immediately. It must close after this performance, it's very important. Heard you had planned on Rebelkov, attacks on the system Pocking Indy, Svignonish makes this an absolutely official face. Even now, he kicked you as you, now it is really sad. Patchara pointed ears. Henley is just about to ask something, but she holds him back. She goes to the former cleaning lady to the general and her majesty asked slowly. What exactly have you heard then? Ravenosh love. The sums referred immediately to the little trust diplomat's daughter. She has learned that integrity with their parents. Now begins Ravenosh to tell your story. I was cleaning at Rebelkov just as many all came. 
even Queen Hepatia the first was there, then I listened to stuff everything Hepatia and attacks on poor pocking in the system, and then Rebelkov put me out on the street. Gemina O. Oh. Everything from Oja, but now I has Lemish clean here at my brother, very dear. Good. Quote. All three. Patchara and Henley in particular see themselves at each other knowingly. Was this the reason for the terrible events in the remote system over there? All signs now point out. Svignonish itself recognizes the importance of the testimony, so he asks her. Sure you're really you. Auntie, yes, yes, of course I do, she crosses her arms and turns away offended. Now all is clear. She's telling the truth. But how much is this worth? Zero. Terminated a cleaning lady, species Ruba, who do you think? Nobody. This statement directly against the ruler of a two-star system, at a meeting which took place officially never, what a laugh it would be, and probably arrested as instigator of evil. Henley, this is clear. It would destroy your life. The only possibility is that he is now active themselves. He just knows it. Even if he still has no idea how. He takes a deep breath. I must now necessarily those switching over to get my parents. This is the first time. Hopefully this works. Otherwise. Yes, then we must think of us something. Patchara then goes directly to the still slightly offended to Ravenosh and pushes you. Thank you, dear Ravenosh, you did very well said. It remains among us, we promise you. Immediately exudes a trained professional cleaning warmly toward you. Everything is forgotten, she was happy as a child. Do not worry. We'll take care of everything. Now I have to tell you but first how good you have it done here. Quote. Ooh, very simple as that yes, you Svininsai reported.